When I look at a glass of beer, I don't just see liquid in a glass, you know. At the end of the day, what is beer? It's a drink. It's a very commonly enjoyed drink. It's one that brings a lot of enrichment to people's lives, I think, but it's not just beer. It's about community. It's about friendship. The brewing industry tries to create a, a third space type environment where there's no other requirements other than to come in with a willingness to try something new in an open mind. There's a quote by Epicurus that goes, you know, we should find someone to eat and drink with before we find something to eat and drink. And I've lived by that for a lot of years, this idea that beer is way more about the people, it's way more about the experience, it's way more about what you're able to derive from the area that you're in and what you're doing than just about the beer in a glass. Because beer at its best facilitates the best times of your life. It is not the best times of your life. For a lot of its history, craft beer was created in opposition of macro beer, of, of these massive breweries that have been around for 150, 200, 300 years that had dominated the entire industry. They controlled everything. So of course, these breweries were not just making better beer, they were also having to do that in the face of overwhelming opposition. Most of what, what was true in craft beer definitely is true in craft malting as well. We have this huge larger layer on top, right? The, the global malting companies are, are just like the large brewers. They're, they're in scale so far beyond of what, what on the craft side is happening that for somebody who doesn't really understand how all this works and that obviously it's all about the relationships that we build you know, between the farmers, the malters and the brewers that makes this work on that small scale that you don't just get wiped out by some of the bigger players to say, hey, what, like, why are you buying from these guys? You should get it from us. And it's just not happening like that, right? There's, there's a lot more to it than, than just price, right? Every time I sit down and drink a beer, it's like, you know, this really did take a team of people doing things correctly and being passionate about it and paying attention to the small details to get this awesome glass of beer that we have here. It's great. I think it's important to always do that uh, to find local farmers or say some local coffee roaster, chocolate makers. We've worked with a chocolate maker in Ash Asheville. Um, I think it's really important to show a sense of place and show people that, hey, this beer has chocolate from two hours away, it has coffee that was roasted, you know, roasted an hour or down the street, or we did a beer with a brewery right here around the corner. So it gives you a sense of place. So if you're coming to visit from California or Florida or wherever, you can try something that you definitely can't get back home. So I think it's important to highlight that and try to keep that going. It was not obvious to anybody what this even is and how that works, right? Most people don't know uh, that you have to malt the grain before you can brew with it, right? That barley is actually uh, is processed one step before you can make beer. And, and so you have to be super enthusiastic and convinced you can pull this off. And so, um, and that by itself seemed like a fun challenge. So I, I just, for me, the key to all of this is being the connecting piece. And so working with people from various fields, right, from the farmers to you know, all the people who have money and want to put money into the right place, right, be it bank or individuals, to the brewers who are really interested, were and continue to be interested to buy from a place where they where they know the person who makes it, they potentially know the person who grows the product. So then this, this getting, getting connections and building connections uh, from the field to the pine was, um, yeah, was like the biggest driver for me, for sure. I think with modern, you know, industrialized food and beverages, there's such a disconnect between, you know, the farm where all our food is grown and, and all the ingredients for our beverages are grown and us you know, consuming it at the end, and there's that disconnect really does a disservice to 
the farmers that do it and the maltsters that malt the grain because there's so much that goes into it before we even touch it as brewers. So I really think that beer is like the culmination of this tradition of human civilization, you know, starting settling down and farming and creating grain and turning it into this beverage that not only nourishes us but brings us together as communities. We have ritual, rituals around it. We have a whole set of opportunities to make human connections. I think that that is a really cool thing. It's connecting us not just to each other, but it's connecting us to nature, to connecting us to the soil and the ground and that, that nourishment that we get that we can't survive without. For us as, as a small monster, right, for Epiphany, it, it wouldn't work without initially the handful of brewers who are, understand the value proposition, right, of, of getting the connection, not just to the raw ingredient, but also to where it's grown and who makes it and, and essentially get a say, right? So part of us being so small has the benefit that um, the folks who buy from us, you know, we're right there, you can call us, and then we can tweak it based on the feedback. And um, that's only possible at, at the scale where everybody's sort of the same small size and, and, and we know each other obviously uh, personally. And so the subset of folks who buy from us, right, the brewers who are actually uh, interested in collaborating uh, ongoing are the ones who continuously buy from a small monster like us. Yeah. Beer can mean the same thing to me it does to any beer drinker, which is you know, just, a, just a nice cold beverage to sit down with a friend and enjoy. Uh, but also, being in this industry, I guess the unique perspective that I'm able to offer, af after having been in the industry for a while, tasted different beers, uh, to, to be able to detect uh, that locally grown flavor in the beer. As a maltster specifically, I know almost the vintage of what has happened in the beer, right? And so the beer is, is is by itself a repetition of this life cycle of the other ingredients which are agricultural products that are only getting harvested once a year. And, and the beer making process is the pinnacle, the peak of then making something that is true to the Pilsner or the IPL, right, or the, the stout or whatever you make, even though the ingredients are, are varying over time, the skill is to make, make that same beer over and over so that it's recognizable for what it is by style and, and, and brewery interpretation of it. You know, people don't realize how, you know, people are so quick to dismiss some beers like, oh, it's not good, I don't like that type of beer, I don't like IPAs, but they don't realize the work that goes into hauling grain, you know, putting grain bags in a mill, uh, this, the, working in the summertime, you know, it's, it's, it's hard work, man. You're, you know, you're getting, you can get burned by hot water, you can, you know, you're in there all day making beer, and it's pretty cool just to think everything that goes into it, which includes buying yeast from the yeast company, buying grain from the grain company, buying hops from the hop company, which then, you know, get it from the farmer who, who, far, who farmed the hops or the, the farmer who farmed the grain. There is something really satisfying about uh, drinking a beer and thinking about everything that goes into it. Uh, so the, the selection of seed, uh, the farming practices, accommodating the weather, um, you know, all, all the, the harvesting that goes into it, the cleaning and storage of the grain, um, every little variable throughout the malting process, and, uh, and, and thinking about what went on in the brew house. Um, it, it, it is fun to uh, enjoy a glass of beer in that way too. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that getting into this industry uh, gave me that option to enjoy it that way. So the beer in front of me is always, um, a testament to all of us coming together, right? Making and really contributing our part to make something that is refreshing and wholesome and you can you can drink a little and it's nutritious and you can drink a lot and it's it's it just makes an evening.